genetic identity is a aspect in the field of population genetics that helps us to know the level of genetic similarity between the two populations it was ni nee who in 1972 suggested the method for calculating genetic identity that is i between the populations see the paper in which he explained this aspect was published in 1972 and the title of the paper was genetic distance between populations actually uh, we can also calculate genetic distance after calculating genetic identity i will explain about all such things and this paper appeared in the journal the american naturalist in 106 volume its page number is given here 283 to 292 now uh, suppose these are two populations population 1 and population 2 through a cartoon diagram i want to explain that these are two separate populations these two populations are genetically a uh, differentiated one and uh, they are situated in two separate places means they are located in two different uh, uh, geographical areas and we want to know that to what extent these two populations are similar to each other so we calculate i value that is genetic identity and this genetic identity i value may range from 0 to 1 if this value is zero it means there is no similar allele between the two populations the two populations are totally different from each other even they are not similar at the allele level only in such condition this value will come zero and if it comes one it means there is complete similarity in the type of alleles and also their frequency between the two populations so it ranges from zero to one and uh, if this i value comes 1 that indicates that genetic dissimilarity is zero so let us uh, understand that how we perform all such things suppose there are four populations the populations are a b c and t these are four populations and uh, when we will test genetic identity definitely it will come one value between the individuals of uh, population a because a and a they will show complete similarity so this will be indicated by 1 and between b and b this value will be coming 1 but between a and b there will be some value pertaining to this genetic identity likewise between a and c there will be some value and by going through such values we can know that which of the two populations are very similar to each other and which are distantly related or they are genetically very different from each other now uh, one aspect we can know here that uh, if four populations are there then we shall be uh, having actually six comparisons that is between a and b between a and c between a and t so this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 six comparisons are possible so if we know the number of populations which are being considered for this purpose then we can know that how many pairs will be possible that can be calculated by using the formula n into n minus 1 by 2 where n indicates the number of populations like in the present case there are four different populations so 4 into 4 minus 1 that will be 3 so 4 into 3 that is 12 divided by 2 will be equal to 6 so 6 comparisons will be possible see the formula which is used to calculate this genetic identity is i is equal to arithmetic mean of the products of allele frequencies divided by geometric mean of the homozygote frequencies this can be better understood by considering this lower detailed form of this formula this i is equal to p1 into p2 that is frequency of a particular allele of the two population will be multiplied plus frequency of other uh, allele of the two populations will be multiplied that is q1 into q2 plus r1 into r2 like this all those alleles 
uh, which are being considered in the two populations will be rated divided by number of loci number of gene loci which are being considered that will be taken and then this will be divided by square root p1 its square plus q1 its square plus r1 its square into p2 its square plus q2 its square likewise you will go on writing all those alleles which are there divided by number of loci and its square you will have better idea when i will uh, consider an example so this formula one has to remember to calculate this genetic identity and see we are going to observe genetic identity between two populations that is population a and b suppose or population 1 and 2 these are two populations and uh, suppose there are two gene loci one is for alcohol dehydrogenase and the other one is for abo blood group so in human suppose there are two separate gene loci one encodes for adh and other for abo blood group now the frequency of fast and slow allele that is indicated as p1 q1 or p2 q2 in the two populations and this abo blood group since it is uh, recognized by three alleles that is ia ip and io the frequency of these three alleles could be indicated as pqr <laughs> so the frequency of these two gene loci and their alleles is given in this table like for adhf it is p1 value for population 1 and that has come 0.6 in population 2 p2 value is 0.3 the frequency of slow allele that is indicated by q1 and it is 0.4 q2 it's 0.7 now here this ia allele its frequency is being indicated by p so p1 that is for population 1 it is 0.3 and for p2 it is 0.2 the ib allele is being represented as q1 and q2 frequency is 0.2 and 0.2 in both the populations and for io the frequency is being represented as r value so this r1 is for population 1 and r2 is for population 2 so once uh, you have all such data you can put this data in the formula to calculate genetic identity like in the present case what i have done here that uh, 0.6 means this 0.6 into 0.3 so these two upper you know frequencies are multiplied 0.6 into 0.3 plus 0.4 into 0.7 plus 0.3 into 0.2 plus 0.2 into 0.2 plus 0.5 into 0.06 so you have put the values here and since there are two gene locus so divided by 2 then in the lower denominator portion square root then what you are showing you are showing 0.6 its square because you have to take geometric mean so 0.6 its square plus 0.4 its square plus 0.3 its square plus 0.2 its square plus 0.05 its square and this entire thing will be multiplied with 0.3 its square 0.7 its square 0.2 its square 0.2 square 0.6 square and this entire thing will be divided by the number of loci its square that is 2 square so in the next slide you can see the final calculation here since we have put all these values in the formula we have to calculate the numerator portion as well as denominator part and here in this calculation it has come 0.43 divided by 0.479 now the final value is 
it means between population 1 and population 2 the i value genetic of genetic identity value has come 0.8977 and once this genetic identity value is available to us we can calculate genetic distance between the two populations its calculation is quite simple because genetic distance is equal to 1 minus i and here this i value is 0.8977 so genetic distance between population 1 and 2 is 0 0.1023. So if you have several gene loci, in such case, simply the values will, be, uh, will have to be adjusted in the formula and then you would be able to calculate the genetic identity value.